Welcome back. We are talking about stem cells this morning. Just the, the research and everything you can do with them now. Well, they can make you look better. They can make you feel better. Dr. Tess is here to tell us this morning about some stuff she is doing with stem cells. And I think what's really cool about what you're doing is you're one of the first people to really be doing this cutting edge technology in our country, right? Yes, that's true. I mean, over the last decade, there's been a lot of studies looking at stem cells. And, you know, when we're born, there's a, we have about 80 million stem cells in our bodies. But by the time we reach the age of 40, then we're at less than 25 million. And this is part of why we start aging. We're not healing as well. When we get injured, it's like it's taking a longer time. Mm -hmm. um, these stem cells, basically, they're like, if you think about it, they're like baby cells. And they can go to areas of injury and they can differentiate into whatever we need. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it could be um, collagen, it could be fibroblasts, it could be um, cartilage, wherever. And um, in the last 10 years, what's amazing is instead of going into the bone marrow to harv harvest these stem cells, they found out that fat is so mm -hmm. rich in these stem cells. And as you know, we've talked about fat and liposuction. And we have easy access to fat, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of it. And what they've found is in about a cc of fat, there's about one million of these regenerative stem cells. So what's great is you take those stem cells, yeah, so and then you can put them somewhere else in the body that maybe is not operating the right, way you want it exactly. to, right? Exactly, and it's a very simple procedure. It's done under local anesthesia, and the reason Rico's here, Rico is my seven-year-old. One of your old. patients, yeah. yeah. and then he's also our personal trainer, and he injured his knee, and so, and, and he was limping, many weeks, you know, as we were uh, doing yeah. our training yeah. session, I said, Rico, let's tr fix it. Mm -hmm. So we had to find fat on Rico, because as you can see, he's very lean. <laughs> uh, but it's done <laughs> under local anesthesia, uh -huh. so it's very safe. He's awake, and it's, you know, just extract a little bit of fat. It gets processed down to these um, regenerative stem cells, and then we re-inject it, and for Rico, it was his left knee. Wow. And within weeks, he's back to, you know. This is pretty back. incredible, huh, Rico? Uh, I have pretty severe uh, osteoarthritis from an mm -hmm. old football injury. Okay. And very little cartilage left at all. Mm -hmm. And it would swell up a lot whenever I'd do something too strenuous. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so I, I injured it about three months ago, re-injured it and tore the meniscus. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Tess said, well, let's, let's try the stem cell thing. And uh, it seemed to work really well. My wow. swelling went away, and it feels a lot m more flexible. So I, I, I stayed off it for about... One month, pretty much, but uh -huh. now I've been able to work out, do the exercises as well. Going I do back some to it all. cycling, yeah. some hiking, and it's doing really well. So, it's pretty good. It, 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 does it feel kind of amazing that you were able to take, you know, stuff from your own body, basically, yeah, put that's, right that's, back that's in your knee? Yeah, so no reconstructive surgery it. or anything. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, the orthopedic surgeon said, well, there's nothing we can do for you. You just got to have a knee replacement, you know. So, mm. Yeah, so this is great. Yeah. Wow. Tess, so what's the response to this so It's far? amazing. You know, the patients, I never promised uh, results because right. obviously results depend on the individual. But for those people who are at the end of the road, basically, and mm -hmm. they're suffering, many of the patients that we've treated, they're, you know, elderly who um, have had multiple knee surgeries already and they're walking, you know, they need a walker, mm -hmm. they're debilitated they don't have a good quality of life, they want to try it because... Something. Well, yeah, yeah tr try something. And I, it, is hard to think, it is hard to think of surgery. I know when you were 75 mm -hmm. and plus, having had, you know, my own relatives go through things. It's hard to, you know, the concept of surgery and, you know, going under something like that. Yeah. So this could be an amazing option It's, it's amazing. And it's really taken my practice from just, you know, the aesthetic to mm -hmm. regenerative anti-aging, harnessing our own body's ability to heal, um, and create, I mean, just, it's fantastic. Wow. It's, it's amazing. Well, thank and you for sharing this update I, with all yes, our viewers. Yes, and, and you know, cool. like I said, if you're, if you're hurting and you really want to find out what the latest and give it a shot, um, the procedure itself is non-threatening. Mm -hmm. It's very safe, even for my older patients. And we have been fantastically surprised at the results. Mm -hmm. Well, so nice to have you Thank here today. You. There, of course, is Dr. Tess's information. You've seen her here before. She also appears on San Diego Living. You can always go, into, go onto our website, get more information. But uh, always nice to see you. And, you know, we always enjoy the updates you give us on some of the new technology. But this, I have to say, this is pretty, this is pretty incredible. And it we're is really incredible. Glad to share this and with us. for those people who are also thinking of um, tickle lipo, you mm -hmm. know, getting rid of areas. I have a 78 year old uh, patient who, 
um, has gained so much weight because she can't move because of her knee injury. Mm -hmm. She said, get rid of my fat. And put it in and, my knee. And yes, yeah. process it. <laughs> and so no, yeah, three yeah. months later, I saw her just last week and her abdomen is flat and she doesn't use a walker anymore. Mm -hmm. It's wow. like, Incredible. it's amazing. All right, Dr. Tess, thank Rico, you. thank you for thank sharing you. your thank story. You. We loved having you in this morning. Thank you.